So Bosco, kind of a follow-up question from our previous conversation in terms of personal branding. How can job seekers or people in general can incorporate purpose and values in their personal brand? Or how can they identify their why? Right. So purpose and values is the fabric of your character and the fabric of your brand. And so, you know, all the decision making you make, whether it comes to the work decisions, business decisions, whether it's decisions of people, um, you know, your thought process, they all come from these values and purpose. Now, typically, you know, if I have, and I have to credit my, my mentor, David Reeve here, who from Unleash Culture, who, who really thought me this value system, you know, values are based on four to five critical pillars. The people that are around your business, the service that you offer, the process of how you run your business, the business that you're in, and more importantly, introspection and how you strive to be better. So, you know, I have four values, but these four values fall under these five pillars. So people, service, business, introspection, and process. Those are the five critical areas. And, you know, these values can't be on a wall where your staff or you don't even know what they are. You need to know them and you need to remember them as well. So values are so important because it's how you make the decision. And again, your purpose is why you exist. And so if you don't have these things figured out, it's really struggle to survive. Yeah. So it's very important, especially nowadays we've talked about, you know, having a value alignment for a job seeker. That's also mm -hmm. important. But do you think that, that value alignment should be 100%, 80% or, or depends? It really just depends, right? I mean, I feel like, you know, there's certain non-negotiables. So when it comes to how you treat people, it's a non-negotiable. When it comes to service and, and, and integrity, it's a non-negotiable. You can evolve some values. You can come to a compromise with certain values, but there are certain character, characteristic values that are quintessential, how you respect your colleagues, and how you work with your colleagues and how you treat people and how you teach people to treat you. And I feel like those are certain values that, you know, you really have to be firm with. So if a company has values that treat people poorly, does that, is that, is that an opportunity for you to come in and help them become better? Or if they don't change is an opportunity for you to say, sorry, these are not my values and I can't align with them anymore. You know? And what's your personal values or purpose uh, at Bosco? Yeah, so, you know, really quickly, my purpose is to empower digital brands professionally and personally, I try to leave people better than I found them. As far as my values, my people and my service is the same, which is remarkable, authentic relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to the business I'm in, I'm reinventing disruptive storytelling. Mm -hmm. When it comes to... Um, the introspectional value of, you know, trying to help people, it's re-engineering digital presence, which is, a, which is a very big one as well. And when it comes to the processes, it's rebellious design thinking. And I know these values by heart because it's how I make yeah. my business decisions. It's how I operate. So they have to resonate with me and they're my moral compass and they're my business compass as well. So it allows me to navigate through difficulty and challenging times as well. So is it important everyone on earth or everyone working profession have identified their values or? I, I feel it's an important interview question. I think recruiters need to ask that question. Mm -hmm. I've, uh, you know, every time I work with people as a consultant, I ask people that, you know, and it's a lot of recruiters don't even know what the values are or have to go find the piece of paper on the wall, you know? And it's, it's an interesting test because at the end of the day, if your receptionist doesn't know what your values are and that receptionist is the gatekeeper for the front of the house. And if the people on the front line of customer service don't know what your values are, if your leaders don't know what your values are, then what is the true message? Mm -hmm. You know, how as a leader or as an owner of that company, are you really investing in the people that work for you? If they don't have the same alignment as you, then there's a major disconnect. Yeah. I totally agree with you. And again, thank you for those great tips, Bosco. Again, for the audience watching, listening, if you have any other tips or any other things that you can recommend, please leave it in the comment section and subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Bosco.